Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm coming back to YouTube. <laughs> I haven't been around for a little while. Um, honestly, life has gotten a little busy for me recently, so I've been pausing on this project, but my bullet journal still continues. So today I'm going to show you um, just a flip through of my bullet journal this year up until now, since we're at the halfway mark. And I'm also going to do a flip through of my new setup in this new notebook. So, um, again, I'll, I'll put all the details in the description, but this is a Dingbats uh, notebook, the Tiger edition. Um, I thought it was kind of funny that it turned out to be the year of the tiger and I have the tiger notebook. So we're going to start with my future log that I had for this chapter. Um, I had this beautiful watercolor. I've been trying out different trackers, different printouts. I still have a lot of empty pages, as you can see. Um, but I used a lot of washi tape, some stamps to help me keep track of all my things for work. This one is actually my favorite spread, the, the Lunar New Year, Year of the Tiger spread. I got very, very inspired by that. Um, so I. I wish I could redo it just because it's so inspiring. Um, and then also some homages to the trips I was taking. So I went to Orlando um, and I said even goodbye to my spread because I was so happy and in love with um, this, this idea. And then March I had manatees and lovely watercolor type deals. Um, this was actually very time consuming, but very relaxing to make. I have a tutorial in my channel on how I did these. Um, let's see. I did also this one. This one I kind of like went all out. And then this last little page on it was not so great, but I got lazy at the end. And then my bunny spread, I didn't record this, but I really, really love this spread. I got these new washi tapes from um, Notebook Therapy, and they are these cute bunnies hopping around everywhere, and I use them at every chance I could get. Uh, let's see where I can find it here. And I really like this one. It kind of looks like a little garden with my cute bunnies everywhere. Um, this one too, like a little garden with a gingham. And then each box has its own bunny. And then I had admin's day at work. So work sent me a beautiful gift with these really cool lettering. And then I did a butterfly for the month of May. It's more gingham. Since I learned the theory, I might as well keep using it. Um, this one was a little a little uh, time consuming as well. I had this new washi tape also from Notebook Therapy, as well as some really cool like mystic type um, stickers that I loved using. Um, I drew this at work actually using a ballpoint pen and I was so enthralled in getting the face just right that I forgot that it was just a sticky note. Um, but yeah, I really liked it. I thought I'd commemorate it. Same thing with these eyes and the more faces and flowers. Um, I was going to do another face here, but um, time eluded me. I went to Chicago and then got COVID. So I had to just stay put with what I had. Oh, yep. Here's some commemoration of my trip to Chicago. <laughs> I went to the Sky Deck. Um, basically just a glass box overlooking the city that you step out on. It's a great opportunity to take pictures. Um, I did a packing list for this trip. I thought it was very, oops, I thought it was very helpful to make sure I had everything. Um, more bunnies, a good excuse to use more bunnies. And um, I even journaled for some of the days. And then June, June was an interesting month. I spent most of June in Brazil. Um, so the first few weeks I didn't really journal, but I did do this really awesome toucan. And then I tried to recreate the magic with this quite tea. I'll insert some videos of the time. And I did a tree frog also 
This one I used a reference, but some of the rest I did from memory using a ballpoint pen. And then when I came home, I just added some more color. Um, yeah, have some swatches of the washi tapes that I had collected over the year. But yeah, that was my six month mark. I'm going to cherish it and let's move on to the setup of my new notebook. So my new notebook, this one is also from Notebook Therapy. Man, I'm really a fan of them. They have re really cool stuff. Um, their stamps are a little expensive, but when you catch them on a good deal, you can get 20% off. So, yeah, here's my notebook. I started in the index, um, and I did roughly um, number my pages just because I like to keep track of that. Um, and then my little theme before I make a drawing, I haven't thought of what I'm going to do yet. Um, just, we're not done yet. 2022 is still chugging along. So this is my future log. I used these washi tapes that I got. I forget where I got them from. I will look it up and post it in the description. And also I'm doing a things to check out um, tracker on the beginning of my notebook. I've been adding it to my monthly uh, spreads and it gets kind of lost in the mix. So I thought I'd just make one dedicated page on the front of the notebook. Again, I'm also gonna do a wish list. I think this is gonna keep the spending at bay, I'm going to write down what I want and then budget for it at the end of the quarter if I still want it. Um, also, I want to track the books that I've read and the movies that I've watched and the shows that I'm watching. I'm finishing Stranger Things today, so maybe I'll do a review on that or maybe a book review. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I'm making a little space here for memories. I want to print out some memories each month um, and just glue them on here and just kind of like make a vision board or something and just look back on it. I love those kinds of spreads. And then here's my July um, spread. Today, I was very much inspired by this kiwi spread that I saw and I just thought I'd make it lemons instead. Um, so the little tagline is squeeze the day. A fun little pun on Seize the Day. And then here's my calendar. Some important dates here. Um, this washi tape is again from that. I have to figure out where I got this from. Um, and then I used some of my notebook therapy uh, stencils to make my walking. Speaking of which, I walked today. So I'm going to make sure I mark my walking day today. And then I also use the stencil for my moods. So today I'm in a really good mood. Maybe not like exceptionally over the moon, but I am in a good mood. So today I'm gonna make it good mood. And I kind of like this. I saw this on Notebook Therapy's Instagram that um, they use this for a mood tracker as well, but with bunnies. So I thought I'd do something similar. It kind of looks like maybe like a soda ad with all the little bubbles and stuff, but these circles kind of remind me of like citrus, citrus uh, slices for mood. Um, I'm gonna get ahead of some of my credit card debt and trying to make sure I keep track of my bills and making sure I'm lowering that because we want to be cash only by the end of the year. Um, I'm also going to track down my total miscellaneous expenses. So in, you know, in a day I spent like $31, in a day I spent $194, stuff like that to keep track of it. Um, and then some days I spend none, which is great. Week 27, um, last week I did more strawberries. I had these leftover strawberry um, stickers that I like to include. I have this wonderful scratch and sniff uh, strawberry washi tape. And why not a giant strawberry in the front? <laughs> um, and then also this week I decided to do watermelons. Um, so I did a lot of watermelon motifs, some green, red, and, and pink. Um, and then I made a little section for notes. I've decided for the weeklies I'm going to start making cutout tabs. Um, I really do like this system better. It 
does help mitigate some of the wasted space that I've been feeling with my old notebook. Um, this paper is actually thicker than my dingbats, so I'll be able to paint, I'll be able to do watercolor, I'll be able to do a lot more uh, artsy things with this notebook. Um, so yeah, that is the setup for my July new notebook for the rest of the year and let me know what kind of themes you would like to see next. Thanks for babbling with me and I will see you next time.